part two using the grid. First off, I'm going to look at squares that won't have any type of details and I'm going to block those out on my reference image and on my drawing paper. Then I'm going to start in B1 and begin to start to draw my uh, top outline of my fish. So I'm putting dots here in B1 to give myself a little reference point and I'm slowly drawing the outer edge, the outline there, and comparing my squares in B1 and B2 with my squares in the reference image. And as I'm drawing, I'm comparing my lines and the positive and negative shapes with my drawing paper to my reference image. Now another thing we can do is we can create these diagonal lines to help give us even more guides to help us enlarge this fish contour line drawing. So here I'm just connecting the corners of my boxes to create um, X's. And I'm doing this all along those X's on my reference image. And I'm also going to do this on my drawing paper. So again creating these diagonal lines to basically create all these X's, triangles inside of these squares. And remember, these lines should be done very, very lightly because we're going to erase these at the very end. Now once you have those diagonals in there created by creating those X's, you have even more guidelines to help you draw your contour lines and place any of the details into your fish drawing. So I'm using those X's and using them as reference points to place any of those in, inner details that might be a little bit hard to draw freehand, this will help place those in there and also help you with your proportions, making sure they're the right size as you draw them in. Okay, now as you go, continue to um, compare what you're drawing with your reference image. You should always be looking at your reference image and also referring to your, your boxes and any of those diagonal lines that you created in your grid. Okay, now I'm just going in here, putting in the details, comparing my reference image with my drawing. I'm also looking at the size and thickness of my lines, and I'm really focusing on those little details. As I'm grading these, I will be looking for those details and making sure that you have thin and thick lines where they're necessary. So just go ahead and finish out this drawing. Um, also, make sure your lines are nice and bold. As you're drawing, continue to use your grid, both the diagonal lines you created and the horizontal lines, to place your details and contour lines back into your drawing. Once you have most of your contour lines and details down, I want you to go back and look at your proportions. Make sure your proportions are right by comparing your drawing with your picture. And also going back to compare the thickness of your lines. You want to finalize your drawing by darkening up those lines and making sure that they're correct to your reference image. 